Hello, in this video I will show you a quick demonstration on how to use a virtualize uh, feature in Blazor and also I will show you how it works in a sort of simple straightforward manner. I'm not going to dive into any sort of background details of it but just in general how it works and how it functions. Now we have a simple Blazor wrap, it says index.razor you can see uh, right here we have uh, just some boxes. These are divs generated um, as a list, as a normal list. Normally you would do that with a for each loop or a for loop. Uh, and this list is basically a list of strings and the strings are numbers, again generated in another loop. Uh, so it's quite simple. It goes from zero to uh, some huge number, okay? But the point of this is that it's not all rendered at the same time. Now, what I can see at the moment is up to four. Okay, up to four I can see. I can see up to four. And everything else, there are many more items, but everything else is not yet rendered. I can show you that right here. See, we have this uh, developer tools opened. Okay, we have it opened. And you get this sort of first div, okay, first div, and below that first div you get your basically list items, okay, so the first one is zero, right, it's zero, and then the last one at the moment is 11, okay, now let's say I want to scroll down a bit, okay, I scroll down, I scroll down, and you see I scroll down, and that changed, okay, so now the first item is four, and you can see that right here. It's four, okay, the first item we saw previously is four. And then changes again. See, it changes and changes and changes. And at the moment we go from 16 to 27. Okay, 16 to 27, so it's not zero to 27. Those disappeared at the moment, right? They have disappeared, but if I scroll back up, you see, they will reappear again. And you can see that right here as well. They do reappear. See, I scroll out of view, basically, and they disappear. They are not rendered anymore. It saves uh, space, of course. And uh, the ones that I have not yet encountered, where they weren't rendered as well, okay? And if I go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, you can see these change, but the constant number of these elements will remain the same, okay? They will remain the same. You see, this is 46, and they will change like that. It will change like that if I move down. Now, let me show you how this works. It's quite simple. See, we have this uh, little example, and the main thing here is this virtualize, okay? This virtualize component uh, uh, of sorts. Uh, now, into it, you need to provide items, which is basically the list that you have, okay? The list that you have. And uh, context is the item on that specific iteration. It's kind of like a for each loop, okay? So that would be variable context in display list. That would be the equivalent of for each loop. It's just that this uh, sort of saves memory, saves rendering and all that stuff. It saves resources basically. So you access uh, the current value using context. Obviously this is string, so I don't need to access it further, but if it was something else, you could access it further as well. No restriction on that. And this example is quite simple. Uh, on initialized, we generate uh, a few values into this display list, a list of strings, and then we provide it here into the items and it gets uh, rendered as we go along. There are more features into in, in this virtualized thing, but I'm not going to show you them now. This is how you use it in a sort of basic and very useful way. I think there might be use cases for the other ones as well, but this is just a straightforward way to actually use this. And I do believe you should use it 
uh, it is quite a useful feature. Now, if you do not know Blazor, if you're not too familiar with Blazor, do take a look at my Blazor course. It's quite extensive, it's quite in depth, and it gets you from the basics of Blazor to something a bit more exciting and advanced, such as uh, connecting web sockets, running background tasks, uh, and some other things as well. Now, with that said, we will conclude this video and have a good day.